Mark Zeno joins us for a second consecutive segment. And we stay in Atlanta, but we change sports from the NFL and the Falcons to MLB and the Braves. Atlanta has won the first two games of this midweek set against the Cubbies. They are back at home today. Charlie Morton on the bump, minus 168 as a home money line favorite. Javier Assad has been very, very good, though, for Chicago. Total is nine. Will it be three straight victories for the Braves against the Cubs? Well, I mean, you have to ask yourself the question here. Can the Cubs get shut out for a third day in a row? What do they have, eight hits in the entire mm-hmm. series? You know, they just can't find a way to score off of Atlanta pitching. But I'll do you one better here, guys. It's an interesting angle for this <laughs> game. If I asked you to name the three highest scoring teams and the three best lineups in baseball, would you include the Braves in that mix? Not over the past. Oh, co- that was the, not the a first rhetorical m- question. The, gotcha. Oh, it was first part of the month, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> last couple of weeks. No, well, Braves haven't been great on offense the past couple of weeks. Yeah. I, I, I need to let Ben know when I'm actually asking a question. I'll yep. just do this. The mm. Braves are 19-1-1 and to the under in their last 21 games. Yeah. The Braves, yep. the Atlanta Braves are 19-1-1 and to the under in their last 21 games. So they're not hitting and they're not scoring at the rate that we're accustomed to seeing them do so, uh, which is interesting here when you mentioned Assad on the mound and the low total in this game. I would look at the Cubs here in this spot for a variety of reasons. One, you know, as John Stilling would say, you know, Susan, that's just baseball. Uh, that, you know, that, that baseball will tell you that. They're not going to get shut out three games in a row that they should be able to bust out the whooping sticks and score some runs here. So the Cubs team total over three and a half. But Charlie Morton is a very feast or famine pitcher. He's going to go six innings, give up one run, or he's going to go five innings and give up five runs. If you look at his starts over the last couple of years, and this may be the start where he gets tattooed a little bit early and often. Uh, And I would tell you, I would only take uh, the first five under in this game, especially given the fact you're getting an eight and a half here. Because I don't get, want to give the Braves at bats, you know, a, a full eight, nine at bats to, to to try to stay under this thing. So a lot of different ways to play this game, but I definitely lean Cubs here in the under. Yeah, but yeah it's a really good there point. The you know, game. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I go forgot. Ahead, he asked us. The you were question. making a good no, point. He asked us the yeah. question. DRS, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As Ben said, he was making a very good point on that one. But I do agree there. Like the Braves' offense, first couple weeks of the season, tremendous. Now it's taking a backdrop, but also that pitching staff has done really good things. A little bit better weather conditions down in Atlanta today. Seventy-five degrees the first pitch. Eight mile an hour winds blowing out, which is something we haven't seen for the past couple of days. Let's head over to Philadelphia Citizens Bank Park tonight. Lucchese's on the mound. Lefty versus Suarez. Another lefty here. And Ranger Suarez has been flat out unhittable this season. The Phillies, a minus 196 live favorite at the FanDuel Sportsbook and a total of seven and a half. It's two straight wins for the Phillies. This series continues in Philadelphia today. What are the looks here for you, Mark, from Phillies Mets? I mean, the Phillies right now when Ranger Suarez starts. So they haven't lost the game yet. So it's tough to step in front of that train here. Um, when these In these scenarios, I think you just take the best bet in baseball that you can get is take the one and a half on the run line at a, mod- at a moderate price. I mean, right now, FanDuel has it at minus 128. Um, and, and just, you know, hope that the Mets can get an early lead and hang on here because if they get a one or two nothing lead, you know, uh, that means the Mets pitching is on. And apparently, you know, Suarez is going to do his job for the rest of the way and you keep the game low scoring. I mean, that's the only other way to really attack this is, is if you're not going to take the one and a half, you have to look at the under and hope that Suarez, if he's as good as he really is, can do that for, you know, seven innings plus. Uh, and, and, you know, most of the scoring, of, if all the scoring is done by Philly. So, Mark, when you look at Philly and Atlanta, the Phil's the best team in baseball right now. The first of 30 wins, 30 and 13. Atlanta backed by four wins in that win column with only 26. A two-game difference in the standings. And yet the Braves are minus 280 to win the National League East. Who do you think ends up winning this division when all is said and done? I still think the Braves will. I mean, you have to you know, really take a look at what the Braves have been in the beginning of the season. Sean Murphy, the power hitting catcher, got hurt in the first game of the season, hasn't been back since. Austin Riley, their third baseman power hitter, is banged up. Uh, you know, Ozzie Albee spent some time on the IL. I mean, this is not a team that is, is 100% whole at this point in time. They've had plenty of injuries in the starting rotation. Uh, that's been, you know, held together basically by Chris Sale for the most part going through as Max Free struggled for the first mm-hmm. month of the year. I mean, th- this is still the best team in the NL East. It's way too early to call this thing here. So uh, there's a reason why the Braves yeah. are still the decided favorite. They're the better team. 
And listen, Atlanta has won the division six consecutive seasons and booked appropriately as the favorite right now, despite the 30 wins out of Philadelphia. Mark Zeno, as always, we appreciate the time here on the early line. Thanks for being here. Hour three starts after the break.